Graph neural networks have revolutionized the way we analyze and understand complex data structures, particularly those represented as graph. Today in this video, we'll explore GCN, GAD, GRN, GIN, and GNNs, providing a simple technical overview along with a relatable finance example to help you grasp the power of these cutting-edge algorithms. So let's get started with what is graph convolutional network or GCN. Basically, graph convolutional networks are a type of machine learning algorithms used to process data that is presented as a graph, which is a collection of interconnected nodes and edges. In finance, graphs can be used to represent various types of financial relations such as stock price fluctuation, credit networks and investment portfolios. In simple terms, graph convolutional network can be thought of as a way to analyze and learn patterns in interconnected data. For example, in the finance domain, graph convolutional network can be used to predict stock prices based on the relation between different stocks in a portfolio. So let's take a simple real life example. Imagine you are a financial analyst trying to predict the future price of a stock. You have data on the historical prices of the stock as well as the data on the prices of other stocks that are closely related to it, such as other stocks in the same industry or the stocks that have similar market trends. To analyze this data, you can use graph convolutional network to learn the relations between the different stocks and their prices. Here, the graph convolutional network can use this information to make predictions about the future price of the target stock. So in this example, the graph consists of the nodes representing different stocks and the edges connecting stocks that are related to each other. Graph convolutional networks can learn the patterns in the data by analyzing the relation between the stocks and their prices. This allows the graph convolutional network to make more accurate predictions about the future price of target stock. Then comes graph attention network. Basically, graph attention networks are a type of machine learning algorithm used for processing graph structured data. They're similar to graph convolutional network, but instead of performing convolution operation on the graph, GETS or the graph attention network use an attention mechanism to selectively focus on important parts of the graph. In simple terms, GETS are a way to analyze graph structure data by giving more weights to the parts of the graph that are most important to a given task. So let's take a simple real life example in the finance domain. Imagine you are a financial analyst trying to evaluate the credit worthiness of a company. You have data on the company's finance, uh, financial statements such as the revenue, expenses and assets as well as the data on the company's relation with other companies in its industry. So to analyze this data, you can use a GAT to focus on the most important relation between the company and other companies. Now GAT can assign more weight to the relations that are most closely related to the company's credit worthiness such as relation with the major suppliers or the customers. So in this example, the graph consists of nodes representing the company and other companies in its industry and edges connecting them based on their relationship. The GAT can learn which relation are most important for predicting the company's credit worthiness by assigning different weights to the edges in the graph. And this allows the GET to make more accurate prediction about the company's credit worthiness based on the most relevant information. Then comes graph relational networks. Basically, graph relational networks are a type of machine learning algorithm used for processing graph structured data. They are similar to graph attention network and graph convolutional network, but they use a different approach to analyze the relation between the nodes in a graph. So in simple terms, GRNs or the graph relational network analyze the relation between the nodes in a graph by learning the patterns in the data based on the features of the nodes and edges correcting them. So let's take a simple real life example. Imagine you are a financial analyst trying to analyze the relation between the different companies in a particular industry and you have data on the financial statements of these companies such as revenue, expenses and assets. To analyze this data, you can use graph relational networks to learn the relations between the companies based on their financial statements and other relevant features. Here, the GRN can use this information to make predictions about the future performance of the companies in this industry. So in this example, the graph consists of the nodes representing the different companies and edges connecting them based on their relationship. 
Here, the GRN can learn the patterns in the data by analyzing the features of the nodes and the edges, such as the financial statements of the companies and the type of relationship between them, which allows the graph relational networks to make accurate predictions about the future performance of the companies in the industry based on the relations between them. Then comes graph isomorphism network. Now here this graph isomorphism network are a type of machine learning algorithm used for processing graph structure data. They are a type of graph neural network that are designed to learn representations of nodes in a graph based on their local neighborhood structure. In simple terms, GIN analyze the relation between the nodes in a graph by learning patterns from the structure of local neighborhood around each node. So let's take a simple example. Imagine you are a financial analyst trying to predict the credit risk of a borrower. You have data on the borrower's financial history such as their income expenses and debt to income ratio as well as the data on the borrower's relation with other individuals and companies. To analyze this data, you can use this uh, graph isomorphism network to learn the relation between the borrower and other individuals and companies based on their financial characteristic. Here, the GIN will use this information to make prediction about the borrower's credit risk. So in this example, the graph consists of the nodes representing the borrower and other individuals and the companies and edges connecting them based on their financial relationship. The GIN can learn the pattern in the data by analyzing the local neighborhood structure around each node such as the financial characteristics of the borrower and their connections to other nodes in the graph which allows the GIN to make accurate prediction about the borrower's credit risk based on the relations between them. And then comes graph neural networks. So basically graph neural networks are a type of machine learning algorithm designed to process graph structure data. They work by iteratively updating the representations of nodes in a graph based on the information from their neighboring nodes. In simple terms, graph neural network analyze the relation between the nodes in a graph by learning from the patterns in the data, taking into account the structure of the graph. So let's understand this using simple example. Imagine you are a financial analyst trying to predict the stock price of a particular company and you have data on the company's financial statements such as revenue, expenses and assets as well as the data on the company's relation with other companies in the industry. So to analyze this data, you can use graph neural network to learn the relation between the company and other companies in its industry based on their financial statement and other relevant features. The graph neural network can then use this information to make predictions about the company stock price. So in this example, the graph consists of the nodes representing the company and other companies in its industry and edges connecting them based on their relationship. So graph neural network can learn the pattern in data by iteratively updating the representation of nodes based on the information from its neighboring nodes, which allow graph neural network to make accurate prediction about the company's stock price based on the relation between them. Thank you.